Hey guys, welcome back to another session of Half-Life 2 Roleplay. So today I'm playing on, I believe it is the Earthfall Network, yeah. So I got a comment, a couple comments on my last session of this guy wanting me to come on his server and check it out. And I thought, you know what, I'll do that because, hey, you know, I love to see people coming out towards me and, you know, asking if they can join and whatnot or if I can join their server. It's quite nice and, uh... It's, it's, it shows that, you know, you guys are watching, you guys are liking my uh, series so far. Anyway, so, I think there is a lot of uh, custom stuff on here. Uh, it is Industrial 17, which is quite an old map, um, compared to all the new ones that are coming. Well, the, all the new ones that are out already. But anyway, so, um, off the bat, I do like the fact that... Uh, there's a lot of trash everywhere. I, I like this feeling. I, I like the fact that there's actually things everywhere. I don't know if this map got updated. I don't know if that's actually props that people have put down, but it's quite nice. Hot tips. Power gaming, force reactions. Huh. What I would do is I would kind of put a a flat surface or flat prop and then put the text, but it's still good. God, I remember the days I'm going to use fucking t add text. Fuck me. What a pain in the ass that was. Yeah, I'm liking all this trash. It's nice. Whoa. Nope, that's a fake notepad. Whoa. A little bit of lag. Now, I'm not expecting there to be loads of players on this um, server. To be f actually fair, I'm actually going to uh, look at the oh whoops what am I doing? I'm gonna actually look at the uh server list for Earthful Network, there you go, that's where it is. So Earthful Network's there. Solo Companion. There's another server I can probably join one day. Looks quite good. Any people that I know on there? After playing Half-Life 2 roleplay for years, there's a lot of people you can find who you used to play with or you still play with. It's quite nice. So, I'm playing as Joseph HW Rowling for the server as well, as I was with the other server. <laughs> I completely forgot what uh, the other server was called. I feel so bad for it. Ladies. Interesting. Now, I got warned quite a bit that there is a lot of Russian gangsters in the slums, according to the, uh... Oh wow, this map did get updated, holy shit! I mean, look at that staircase, that's nice. Yeah, these arches weren't here before. What's, uh, over here? The poster remains plastic on the wall, long in length, in the middle of the poster, in, cl in closer viewing, comic style drawing, and back and right. Everyone shows citizen talking to super protection units. The citizen says, Alright, bubble above. What was the observer want? Is right. What if the union lies? The unit looks to the citizen in a casual manner, saying, Mine as well. Wear a tin for a hat. You're not helping anyone who's working. You're wasting time. Wow, this is fucking amazing. This map actually looks fucking gorgeous. I think Nebulous is... Yeah, Nebulous is using this uh, map as well. Are they? Give me a sec. Uh, They're using 1.1... 1 1, version 1.A. This is uh, version 2. Fair enough. Let's see what we've got here. A gloved hand appears dominant in the middle of this poster. Leather cre uh, creases appear visible in a drawn style with a open palm. At the top of the palm appears to be a small white glove flapping its wings out with glistering eyes. A large new insignia rests at the grey background. Color. The back, the bottom text reads in the bold, futuristic front. Peace and prosperity is at the hand of the Union. Work and loyalty is to be returned, or consequences will be distributed. Nice propaganda. I'm liking that. Wow. These are. Whoa! I'm liking this map now. It it needed a big update. It was getting quite old. Would you like a pizza delivered? Ask for Grim at the Grot. <laughs> Bees delivery. That's cool. It's like the Calf Baltic and uh, these places haven't really changed. I'd be happy to see what uh, the the beach looks like actually because that was quite uh, 
Oh wow, yeah, this has definitely changed. There used to be a uh, middle terminal, and then you'd actually go to the food terminal from there. Let's get ourselves a ration. That guy's a prop, isn't he? It's a ragdoll. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Actually, I like that. That's really fucking cool. Wow. What do I get? Citizen supplements and Breen's water. Uh, identification card. Okay, fair enough. I think the owners and admins and whatnot have taken a lot of time into uh, making this place feel uh, like it's there. Like there's actually things going going on and whatnot. Uh, with this gun. Oh, I really want to go to the beach. That'd be so fucking sick if I could. Oh no, what's happened to the fucking cinema? Oh no, what's happened to the cinema? What happened? So apparently there are Russian gangsters in the slum area, so around there. We're gonna have to see. Oh no, what happened? Oh, that's a, that is a shame. This place was so cool. Can you still get in? Nah, you can't get in. Oh, you can get them through there. That's part of the slums. Work is freedom. Interesting. Yeah, no, the slums is... Com well, the cinema is completely destroyed. Tell you what. Ah, we won't be able to go through here, will we? Nah. Metropole housing. Level 6 plus loyalists only. Interesting. Interesting they would put a loyalist building right next to the slums. Where there is, in quotation, Russian gangsters, apparently. Because there is a roof access that you can get into the slums. Now, obviously, they could have blocked off the the roof access door with a combine lock, but uh, I don't know. I don't think they have the prone mod either, so I don't think we can get through there. I think this session is more less than just... Looking around on Earth, uh, Earthful, I think it's Earthful, yeah, the Earthful network server, and just checking it out, uh, because someone did want me to go on there, uh, I'll try and make this a free part if I can, but I don't know how much you guys would feel about me walking around for about three parts. Oh god, they've, uh, <laughs> they've changed the fucking, oh, what? That's incredible. So, this used to go, um, Beyond, and there used to be Grizzly Grotto over there. No, I'm, I'm liking this new map. It's quite nice. And that is an apartment complex. I might try and get myself a. Uh... Gotta be careful here. <laughs> oh, hello. Never keep your doors locked. Unlocked, even. Hello. I came into your flat and... and looked around. It's a very nice flat you have here. Goodbye. Oh my game hunter. One. Ah, bollocks. Didn't save. <laughs> oh well. Fuck it. Lovely, lovely. Now obviously if you had an apartment uh and you had a flat, I mean the best thing to do is to have a uh a box that's locked with a passcode. Humble Homes, Robert Bryan Hall, Bryson Hall, free. Is 
This is open as well, shit. What was with people and keeping their fucking apartment doors locked? Jeez. Oh, uh, okay. Don't go through secret portals. Needy owner. Interesting. Obviously, I'm not going to go in there because obviously that's forced gaming, I think. Meta gaming. Oh, I don't know. Something like that. Obviously, I'm not going to fucking go in there and be like, whoa, I just found this. Nah. That's not how I play. I, I, I don't go and look around for, uh, you know, I'm not one of those ninjas where, that you nat uh, naturally or casually get on uh, Half-Life 2 roleplay. You purposely goes around to find secret the secret entrances to try and find like weapons and shit. You know, if a door is open, then a door is open. But if it's closed and it says you're not allowed, then fair enough. If there isn't a message actually, then you are. In my opinion, if there isn't a text ad, is it? If an, uh, sorry, if there isn't a text wall saying stating that unless the owner or an admin's about, then um, then honestly, uh, for you to go in to the secret entrance, if there isn't, then I think you're entitled to go in there, but it kind of has a two side effect to it because also you need to know about it as well, you can't just go there and be like, oh, let me just open this because I know it's here from another server, like that doesn't that doesn't work like that. You can't do it like that. Oh, they've got rid of the um, the train line as well. The railway track, so you can't actually go ahead and uh, walk across it. They've done a lot of changes to this map. Some good, some bad. I do miss the old trains. And that was quite fun. I remember... What was it? There was, I think I recorded it at one point. It was quite a few years ago, a couple of years ago. I recorded me and this guy. We... We were falling onto the trains. That was <laughs> that was quite fun. That was really fucking fun. I like that. There's <laughs> there's been a few times in my life where I played Half-Life 2 roleplay, and some of the most funniest things is um, has happened. It's great, honestly. Alright, so we're going to take a look into the slums. We're going to see how that is. Don't know if that guy's following me or not, but, uh. Oh, yo. I think I'm getting some lag actually. Give me a sec. 120, yeah. Just gonna. That guy's fucking suspicious. See, he's fucking looking at me, the bastard. Yeah, I, I know when someone's trying to get onto me. Or trying to get me in some hostile way. If someone is constantly staring at you, or someone's targeting you, then you go ahead and you, um... Basically, what I can do, say if someone's following me in half a two roleplay, and they're thinking about they're following me by going into the slums then I take another turn but I'm gonna go into the slums anyway and hopefully not get my ass killed welcome take a look at the menu Tate Mushu Japanese cuisine that's cool I like that so what's your oh there's the train hello oh this map looks fucking sick Yo, what have they done? 